Hello everyone, this is Yvonne from Yvonne Ceramics. In today's video, I am going to make a slow feeder bowl for my dog because my dog has been eating really quickly with just a regular bowl. So a slow feeder bowl is basically a bowl that has parts inside the bowl to slow the pet or the dog to, from eating too quickly. So I will start at the pottery wheel throwing a regular bowl first and then I'll add pieces to it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos each week. So I am centering and throwing on the back because the bowl is going to be a little bit bigger because I want to add pieces inside the bowl to make it a slow feeder. So it's going to be a wider but not necessarily taller. So that's why I'm throwing on the back so it'll be easier um, to cut off and trim later. So I'm making the base really, really wide. And I'm just compressing the clay right now. I'm going to use a rip to help me compress the clay. So I'm using this I'm using this green rip because this is a firmer rip. I'm just moving some clay to the middle. That's pretty good. I know the rim is not even right now, so I'm going to trim the rim a little bit. So I'm slowing down the wheel to see where I should trim. So I'm using a needle tool and I'm just going to slowly push the needle tool down like that. And then just 
just lift up this part of the clay. Right, next I wanted to lift up the rim. So I just used my rib to slide down to the edge of this um, plate and then I'm just going to lift up the rim. So that's my rim. Okay, so that's my rim. So I found that the wall is a little bit thicker, which is okay because this is for my dog and he's a little bit rough sometimes, but I want to pull up the rim a little bit. So I'm going to wet the edges. I think that's good then next I'm going to smooth out the top edge here I want the edge to be really smooth because um, this is for my dog and I don't want to cut her mouth so I want to make sure it's really smooth I might want to trim just a little bit on the edge here. After trimming, I need to wet my fingers and smooth out the edge. So 
so I want the edge to be a little bit thicker because um, I don't want it to chip so easily so I think this is pretty good so I'm going to use my sponge to dry up the inside here make sure the bottom is smooth and then clean up the edges here and that's basically our dog bowl so I will let this dry alright so I have my dog bowl here it is um, a little bit harder so I will take it off and trim it later but first I want to add the parts inside the bowl to make it a slow feeder bowl so I have flattened out clay I know it's a little bit thicker but I will cut them into pieces so what I want to do is my design because my dog's name is Boba so I will cut out letter B-O-B-A here and then maybe some dog bones as decorations so that's my clay so I'll use this one so I'm using a needle tool first to draft out the design of the letters So I might not have enough for the A, but that's what I have in mind. So I'm going to use a knife to cut that out. That's my B. So I could cut out the holes in the B, but then I don't want the dog food, the kibbles to fall into the hole because it's going to be very hard for my dog to get those kibbles out. So what I might do instead is I might just do a small hole here like that. And then I will use a carving tool to carve just slightly out, so not too deep. Just carve out the design here. So here I have carved out some holes but it's not too deep so that the kibbles won't fall too far in so it's not too hard for the dog to get it out. So I will clean that up a little bit more, smooth it out with water. I might use a little paintbrush to help me smooth out those hard to get to area as well. So that's my B. So what I would do is, this is my bowl, I would slip and score the back side and just stick it on here like that and then B-O-B-A. So I will continue to do that for my letters. Okay, so I have cut out the letters and also two bones to decorate the bowl as well. This is what it looks like. So next, I'll need to use my rip to score and slip the back using some water and just squish it in. 
lightly press it down like that. And I might use a small paintbrush to smooth out the edges as well. Like that. And I'll do the rest as well. Alright, so I have finished brushing on three coats of the Norse Blue and for I'm just going to glaze purple on the top of the letter so I have a little damp sponge so if there's any blue that got in onto the top of the letter I can just wipe it off like that okay and then I have my purple glaze so this is just something that I have mixed it up myself I found the recipe online and I'm just going to brush it on like that it just makes the letter pop a little bit from the blue. Here's the final result of the dog bowl I made. So the blue here is Mako's Nose Blue. And then purple is my own purple glaze. I just love how the purple popped out from the blue. It's really nice and beautiful. So I'm going to test it out with my dog.